This is a sample speaking test created by the Australian Academy India. Reach out to us to get access to all four modules for practice and online classes. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hello there, this is Don speaking. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to reconnect with you regarding your plan for your parents' 50th wedding anniversary celebration. I genuinely believe we can make this event a cherished memory for your family. To begin, let's consider creating a personalized atmosphere for the party, incorporating their favorite flowers and colors into the decorations. We can set up a nostalgic display featuring photographs, letters, and mementos showcasing the beautiful moments they've shared over the years. For the meal arrangements, I recommend reaching out to a local caterer known for their exquisite cuisine. Crafting a menu that reflects your parents' culinary preferences and includes some of their favorite dishes would add a personal touch to the celebration. Moreover, to make the event truly special, we can arrange for a live music performance, perhaps with a selection of songs that hold sentimental value to your parents. Creating a playlist of their favorite tunes could also be a delightful surprise. As for the gifts, I suggest considering something that embodies their enduring love. A handmade, intricately designed anniversary scrapbook or a custom piece of jewelry with an engraving commemorating their milestone could serve as a cherished keepsake. I'm eager to discuss more details and ideas with you at your convenience. Please feel free to give me a call back, and let's collaborate to create an unforgettable celebration that pays tribute to your parents' extraordinary journey together. Thank you, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a great day.
Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Waking up early is often essential for various important occasions. I distinctly remember waking up at the break of dawn last summer for my cousin's wedding. As part of the bridal party, I had to ensure everything was meticulously arranged before the ceremony. With a sense of excitement and responsibility, I rose early to help decorate the venue and assist with last-minute preparations. Despite the initial bragginess, the joy of contributing to my cousin's special day quickly overshadowed any fatigue. The early morning hustle and bustle eventually gave way to a beautiful ceremony, filled with love and laughter, making the early wake-up call completely worthwhile. Witnessing the radiant smiles on my cousin's face and the heartfelt exchanges between the family solidified the significance of that early morning start, reminding me that special moments often require a bit of extra effort. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. In the image, we can observe a desert trail with a group of five individuals trekking in a single file. All the members of the group are wearing identical backpacks and trekking attire, clearly indicating they are on a collective tour. Starting from the left, the first person is energetically moving forward with their backpack securely in place. Following closely, the second man appears fatigued, as indicated by the floating images of various food items around his head, suggesting his longing for a meal. Meanwhile, the third person is taking a break, seated on a large stone with their backpack set aside. The fourth individual maintains a steady pace along the path. Finally, on the far right, the fifth person is seated, splashing cool water on their face, presumably seeking relief from the scorching sun. The surroundings feature a desert landscape with visible sand dunes in the background.
Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. In this image, it seems like the group is on an adventurous journey, possibly on a challenging trek through the desert. Looking at their expressions and actions, I predict that the first person, full of energy, might take the lead and guide the group through the tough terrain, showing great leadership qualities. The second man's tired appearance and his longing for food suggest that they might take a break soon, probably to have a satisfying meal and rejuvenate for the rest of the journey. The third person, currently taking a break, might share some interesting stories about the trail or the desert, adding a sense of camaraderie to the group. As the fourth person maintains a steady pace, I predict they could be the one to ensure that the group stays together, not letting anyone lag behind. Finally, the fifth person cooling themselves down might indicate that the group could be facing intense heat, possibly prompting them to adjust their journey and take necessary precautions to stay safe and hydrated. Overall, it seems like they are determined to conquer the challenges together and make the most of their desert adventure. Start speaking now.
Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hey everyone, it's Don here. I just wanted to share my thoughts on our weekend plans. I'm really leaning towards the restaurant option for our get-together. At $130 per person, it's quite a steal, especially considering the live band that'll be performing. Imagine us enjoying some great music while relishing delicious food together. It's just the kind of relaxing evening we all deserve after a hectic week. And the best part? We won't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards. We can simply kick back and enjoy ourselves without any added hassle. I think it'll be a fantastic way for us to unwind and spend some quality time together. I hope you all agree with me on this. Feel free to give me a call back and let's chat more about this. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care, everyone. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hello, Professor. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to discuss my current situation with you regarding the submission of my college fees. Due to unexpected financial challenges at home, I have been unable to meet the deadline for the fee submission. I understand the importance of timely payments and the rules of the college. I am actively working on resolving the financial crisis and securing the necessary funds. I assure you that I am fully committed to my studies and have a strong academic record. I kindly request your understanding and support in granting me a short extension to submit the fees. This extension would provide me with the opportunity to arrange the required funds and ensure that my education continues uninterrupted. I am determined to fulfill all my responsibilities as a student and would sincerely appreciate your consideration in this matter. Thank you for your time and understanding. Start speaking now.
Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Technology like the internet and computers has changed how we find information. Some people think these new tools will replace books completely. But I don't agree. Books are special because you can hold them and turn the pages. This makes it easier to focus and understand what you're reading. You can't do that with a computer. Also, books often have a lot of knowledge that's been checked by experts. This makes them really reliable. On the internet, it's not always easy to tell if something is true or not. In some important subjects, like science or history, books are still the main place to find good information. They're written by experts and have a lot of details that you might not find online. While technology is great for finding quick answers, books have a lot of important information that's been checked and tested over time. So, I believe that both books and technology will continue to be important for learning and finding information in the future. Moreover, books can offer a break from screens, which can be beneficial for our eyes and overall well-being. Reading a physical book allows for a more relaxed and immersive experience, away from the potential distractions that come with digital devices. This break can promote a healthier reading environment and contribute to a more focused and enjoyable learning experience. With this balance between traditional books and modern technology, we can ensure that we have access to a variety of resources that cater to different learning styles and preferences. Start speaking now. Stop speaking now and listen to the sample answer prepared by us. Hey Tony, how are you? Listen, I'm at this captivating market, and I've stumbled upon a truly unique clock that I think you'd love. It's unlike any other clock I've seen before. The background where the numbers should be is missing, but what's there instead is a fascinating arrangement of various multicolored pens, markers, and pencils all pointing toward the center. All these colored pens look very attractive to the eyes. The center part is a sleek black circle, and the two needles are a radiant golden color. It's quite eye-catching. The vibrant array of colors around the clock's face creates a striking contrast against the black center, making it a piece of art in itself. I think it would make a perfect addition to your creative space. What do you think? As photography is prohibited here, I cannot share a photo with you. Would you like me to pick it up for you?